In case you haven't noticed yet, iCloud is heavily integrated with Mountain Lion. With MobileMe being completely shut down before the launch of Mountain Lion, iCloud is the only option from Apple for syncing or storing files in the cloud. I'm in the iCloud System Preference pane. If you don't have an iCloud account set up yet, this is where you can do that. I'm already signed into my account. Click Account Details to see the Apple ID associated with the iCloud account. Your Apple ID is very important. It's always an email address and is what you'll use to sign into iCloud.com or add iCloud services to other Macs or iOS devices. In this list of services here, I can choose what I want iCloud to handle. With Mail checked, a me.com email address will be added to Mail. I'll also be able to check my email on iCloud.com from any computer with a network connection. If you don't plan to use your me.com email address because you use another email service such as Gmail or one from your employer, just keep this unchecked and the account won't appear in mail. Checking the contacts, calendars and reminders, and notes options will allow you to sync those items between this Mac and other Macs or iOS devices that are also signed in to this iCloud account and also have those options checked. Checking Safari will sync bookmarks between devices. With Photo Stream on, you'll be able to automatically view the photos you've taken with your iPhone or iPad in iPhoto or Aperture. You can also add photos from either of those apps to Photo Stream, so you can view them on your iOS devices or other Macs. Documents and Data will let you sync documents from certain apps like TextEdit, Preview, and soon Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. We'll go over how Documents and Data works more in the Applications section of the course. With Back to My Mac checked, you'll be able to remotely view this Mac from another also signed into your iCloud account, no matter where you are. Your other Mac will appear in the Finder, just like it would if it were on your local network at home or work. Check Find My Mac and if your Mac goes missing, you can log into iCloud.com to attempt to locate it. At the bottom of this list, the data that all your iCloud files are taking up is displayed. Click Manage for a more detailed view. Here I get a list of the apps and services that are using storage on my iCloud account. So Preview is using 570k for one document in iCloud. Mail and TextEdit are also taking up a very small amount of storage, and Backups, which refers to iCloud backups of iOS devices, isn't using any space because I don't backup my devices using this account. As I use iCloud and start adding more and more documents and getting more and more emails, my 5 gigabytes of storage could start to get pretty full. If that occurs, you can always buy more storage from Apple. Currently, they have options for a total of 10, 20, or 50 gigabytes of storage on iCloud. So now let's take a look at iCloud.com. Once I log in, I'll be able to see exact copies of what I have in my iCloud email account, contacts, and calendars all from this web page.
So that's a quick look at how to manage iCloud. We'll be touching on iCloud as we cover different topics throughout this course.